Hi everyone. Okay, today we are going to be painting our color wheels. You should have already drawn your wheel, mapped it out by dividing it up in half, and then labeling each color, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, or purple. So violet and purple is the same color, it's just two different terms. Um, the last section will be black. So obviously today you're gonna get a paint of blue, red, and yellow pretty easy. You're just gonna start painting your red, yellow, and blue. Um, when you start painting in your pieces, it's really good idea to start in the center or maybe out on the edge and simply paint in one smooth direction. So if you're just going in one direction, that keeps everything smooth, flat, and even, okay? So that's pretty easy, red, yellow, blue. When you get ready to switch your colors, make sure you are rinsing your brush in your water cup. You'll need your paint plate, water cup, and a paper towel. Once you have rinsed, you want to gently blot or dry your brush off and go to your next color. Obviously, we know how to paint red, yellow, and blue, so I'm gonna skip forward and just review color mixing. I know a lot of people already know this, but we're gonna just do a quick review. So, to get orange, mix a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow. And a little tip or hint with color mixing is adding more of your lighter color and that helps you get a little bit more accurate color, okay? So there's my orange, and then I'm ready to mix my purple. So I'm gonna wash that brush really, really good, dry it off, you may even need to blot off a little bit of the paint. So to make green is yellow and blue. I'm gonna get a lot more yellow than blue and that helps get that green going, okay? And then once you have your green, paint that in, and then you're going to go to purple. So right now, my water's getting kinda murky and muddy, so I might wanna go to my closest sink and change out my water because clean water will help your colors stay a little more true and a little more accurate, okay? So I'm gonna dry that off, get all that extra paint off, and then red and blue makes purple. I recommend equal parts, red and blue, to get a true purple. Okay, so there's your purple, ready to paint. Now, a lot of people ask me, well, what is indigo? Indigo is a mix of purple and blue. So once you have your purple mixed, all you have to do is add a little more blue. And you get kind of like a, a navy blue, and that represents your indigo. Okay, the last section, obviously, you just have to paint black and then you're done, we will let these dry, and the next class period, we will be cutting these out, mounting them to black paper, and we'll be done. All right, so any questions, just let me know. Let's paint. 